Hello, oh, I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Dinner Dinner, a very furry styled cute horror kind of walking simulator. Uh, let me explain by the game store page because it, it looked different. Yeah, I thought to give it a try, but excuse the the uh, excuse the game turning tiny one second because apparently it does that when I minimize the game. But Dinner Dinner is a horror adventure game. Oh, itchy nose, goddamn. Set in a mo is a horror adventure game set in the modern era. You are a staff member at Dinner Dinner, a diner of sorts. Throughout the morning, afternoon, and evening, you encounter various people and strange events, customers with bizarre stories, those engaging in trivial conversations, and other discussing incomprehensible matters. The town is filled with peculiarities, and you find it quite unsettling. Nonetheless, you must continue living your life. And, uh, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes, apparently, with uh, characters you get to meet. A bunch of them look really goddamn thick. With a capital... With two capital C's. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, full screen. And, uh, check it out. Might as well. Maybe it's like at the end of it. You guys can tell me what character you think is the cutest down in the comments below when we're done. Wait, what's going on? That loading screen is... Hopefully the game, uh... Wait, what? An error occurred while launching this game. No licenses? Why? Wait, what? Why is it trying to interact with Steam? It's an itch.io game. Huh? Okay. But let's... I'm not sure the bus where I launched the game and then Steam's just like this this is not a, it's not a Steam game. What the hell does Steam react to this? Well, hopefully this doesn't have a virus or anything. Uh button? But what do you want me to touch? Eh? Oh god. Oh wait, this started all saucy, Jesus, what? Is this my, uh, my GF? Is it my uh, waifu? What? 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 What is this angle? What, why is it just zooming up on this? What? Uh... This game confuses me in many ways. Am I, like, clicking everywhere? Am I... Why did the game not just start with this, but zoom up on the boombox repeatedly? What? Okay, ah, did I wake you up? But you must be tired, right? Hee <laughs> hee. I'm heading to work now. You can come later, so don't worry about anything. Yeah, get your thick ass out of here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's in like a PlayStation 1 style. Oh. Okay, jump. Okay, oh, go, go. I'm not even sure. Hmm. The the secret garden, Alice in Wonderland, and, and Azura in Spring, and a lot of toilet paper. Probably to clean up all the spills that happen. But um, copy. I mean, it's interesting music, but I mean, what can I do around here? All right, I restarted it. I'm going to assume the game basically starts, we smashed them, and then we just woke up from bed and they're going to work. I was like trying to grasp what was going on. Hitting space bar is what you're meant to do to skip the cutscene, even though it's also the jump button, even though they show the Z button, I think, as the action key, but then don't use it. It's kind of weird, but anyways, I had to restart because I didn't know what I was doing, and I couldn't figure out what I could interact with. But now that I know maybe Z, you know, try Z on more things. And I found out I could right click to move the mouse, but it just feels really, uh, like really, you know, doesn't feel too good. Why are there giant 
what looks like shampoo bottles on the floor. Hmm? What? What? I entered the bathroom and... Did, did, did the game start being a horror game or something? Okay. Let me figure out what I'm doing. If not, maybe going out here. Oh, mystery person out there. What? Again! <laughs> I tried to interact with Steam again. Stop! Jesus Christ. I... It's not even... It doesn't even have a Steam, a Steam API or... A, any like DLL anything? No files to Steam that I know of. What? Okay, I'll, I'll save. This game is questionably. Why? I'm so con. I'm being thrown around so much in this game. I'm like, what? The camera just pans and goes to random things. What is going on? I just wanted to play a game that had like cute characters and horror elements jesus all right where are the where are the cuties at <clears throat> uh, hello unimportant guest that is just a blue thing ah uh, there's uh my thick wife purple guy apparently and salmon guy i don't know if i work here but i'm just gonna Damn! Look, look, look! This thick, the goddamn. He's more thick. When you say thick, you have to say it like me, of course. Uh, dog character. They got some b burger patties and a, maybe a steak. So, what do you got to say? Now, I since I didn't hit the escape button to save. The game is, like, just doing shit on its own, I swear to God. It doesn't want to talk. Randomly just pops up the, the top left menu, which usually, it's like the, the escape button. And I didn't even hit it, so... Mm. Alright. You've come to a good place here. Put this on. Oh, I work here too, then. I'll take a short break. Hmm. So, I'm working here now. I'm a little short, aren't I? The cash register is, like, up to my neck. Uh, can I talk to you now? We have to figure out what, to, what what we're doing next, I guess. Unless... Hmm? Waitress, waitress! Oh, oh. Looks like we're not even male, so... We are also female. Croissants. Two... Co but is that two cola? One hamburger? Or are you trying to say two croissants, but talking like Yoda? Okay, one cola, one burger, and two croissants. Let's go with that. Two croissants, one one. Uh, it's just it happens automatically. I don't have to remember. <laughs> nice. I don't have to think about a thing. Let's go to the kitchen, though. Uh, I'll stop maybe using the uh, sup. Ah, you're the one who came to help that girl, right? Yay. Yeah. What's your order? <laughs> what? Why? Why are you looking on the floor? What? I, what's with the camera? Where you... Oh, sorry, you can't speak. I forgot. Oh, we're, we're mute? Two? Oh, okay, well, I mean, they could have said that at the start of the game or something. Uh, so I just looked at what I wanted. I see. Hamburger, right? It'll be ready soon. Very... What? What? Pink? 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 Is it pink blush? Something over my eyes? Why is it pink now? I'm so confused. But, all right, uh, your order's coming. Here, oh, never mind, I already got it. This town, you know, it has nothing special. No new industries, not many street lights, even residential areas, but that's why. The quietness of the night, the noise from the factory across the river, the sounds of mating cats? 
It's a weird thing to point out. Is this a city slicker thing? What was that noise? Miscellaneous sounds harmonize with the night. Was that like a, a cat, like, fucking another cat noise or something? What was that? Noise. What, what is that? What is with the, the camera angles and the noises? And the... the and like the boombox that's on top of the roof that... Uh, so confusing. I like the dark and humid times of a town with nothing. What's with the noise? You too must be a person tired of the world who ended up in this... Tired of the world who ended up in this town. What? Poor translation. Then... Why is it like you're communicating, you just stare at your feet, stare at the floor? What? What is? How is this interesting? What, what does that mean? Who does that? Who just like does... In the middle of a conversation, just... I'm so confused. It's okay, things will get better eventually, they always do. How... Maybe for the mute character, you should have had like character art on the bottom of the screen show their facial expression like they do in visual novels instead of doing this weird ass camera angles of the character just in the mid conversation just like like just staring off like they're on like ecstasy or some shit like what is going on so confusing hot dogs hot dogs hot dogs one hot dog or three yeah but okay what happened to the pink on my screen too they haven't answered that Zoom in on the hot dog. Am I, like, putting my face right next to it? The usual, then. Hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. At night, various customers come. Here you go. Feel free to enjoy. Like, is the pink me holding food for some reason? But why? Is the bag? Why is it up in my face? So confusing. Anything tastes good at midnight, but what I recommend is this. For me, it's morning now. After eating this, I'll work at the 24-hour convenience store. I don't usually see your face, do I? Where do you live? What's your name? How old are you? A lot of questions. And we won't be able to answer, so we're just gonna stare at the floor. And then they'll... Okay, well, somehow... The other person knew somehow what I was thinking, but all right, shy, yes. After graduating from school, I once left this place and went to the city, but didn't suit me well, so I came back. Long ago, humanity... Oh, I don't... Uh, long ago, humanity constantly kept moving, reaching every corner of the continents. I also wanted to go to the edge of this country, but well, I guess it didn't happen. Uh, I should get going soon. Like, are these meant... Let me double-check the store page if these are meant to be actually furry characters and they're just broken or something. I'm curious. Okay, never mind. In the game store page, they, like, duplicated the characters multiple times, even though I'm assuming it doesn't happen in the game? But eh, we'll find out, I guess. Maybe just weird... Oh, God. It's... Now it's getting incredibly laggy. All right, that's cool, too. Alright, I'm just gonna assume it's just gonna stay leggy, honestly. Wait, I'm in the bathroom now, huh? Why am I in here? Oh, this leg is kinda horrible. Oh. Hey, do you know that story? I don't know. I thought you knew? You really don't know? So it's about yesterday. Oh, they're just talking to each other, I guess. That topic was posted on social media. Human rights issues, the president, the African continent, a rock band in the northeast, details unclear. Financial crisis, a cat. I mean, I would really wish they just actually made all the characters in-universe the same. Like, we have two thick furry characters. Why not make more furry characters? They just made these placebos, and that's their rushing, rushing for a game jam. But it's kind of like all the characters just being like bare bone templates it just comes off as lazy and it's just very weird yeah not both of them in here phew i could take a little break thanks or well, you just did i'll take it from here and the day will be over in a while a uh, little while 
Thanks a lot. I'll deposit the daily pay into the count. Can you come again the day after tomorrow and... Ah. I thought you were kind, so I expected you to help. Better take out the trash after turning off the store lights. Okay, at least it's not lagging randomly anymore. Now, the hell are you? Uh. <laughs> uh. It barks. All right. Well. Again. Like, why is there? Why is musical musical boom boxes just everywhere? Wait, and also, why is there an invisible wall here so I can't go to the trash? I have to go inside? Well, it's night time, so I guess time went by. Anything in here? No. Okay. Why is there trash right here? Okay, wait, so, okay, so the pink does represent items in your hand, because those are clearly three trash bags. They, they just like, it just seems like rush templates, I don't know, man. Like, you could have just had these 3D models shoved up in your face kind of thing, but not in an ugly way, I'd imagine. Like, how's that supposed to be scary? It's a black template! And then it also got leggy again. What is it? It's a black template. It'd be scarier if it was like a drawn character, but instead it's just this. Uh, and it also trying to turn on Steam again, of course. Oh my god! It... Oh god! Okay, I'm boning my thick cat waifu again. I think the creator of this game is really horny, probably. But, I mean, uh, the main character is living the life, I guess. I... you see. We got pink paws. I always have music playing in my head. Oh. I can see the radio cassette player I loved when I was little. So it's all in your head? I can see illusions of the stuffed animals from my childhood. When I'm in trouble, having it nearby makes me feel secure, I think. I know, I've heard it before. Now oh, we're... Having a therapy session after boning. Uh, you cherish many other things, right? That's wonderful. Thank you. I'm trying to still determine the point of this game. So, I mean, hopefully something happens soon. Or the horror starts. I drank a lot of alcohol yesterday. Drinking with someone makes it fun. I couldn't talk much, so I kept listening. Hmm. It's not from that time, but the same stuffed animals here. It has a strange expression, but it's cute. Hmm. This is a souvenir from a trip abroad. I wonder what kind of animal it is. I forgot to ask. A bull? Why couldn't they have done this, like, this introduction of the main character, like, showing off their room to the player at the very start of the game instead of it being like, hey, figure shit out for yourself and also just... You know, it's just being almost a bare-bone room where all you're supposed to do is open the doors and then check outside the sliding glass door for things to initiate. It's just weird decision-making. We bought it together at a thrift store. There's a cube puzzle in a bottle, a weird one. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Who's her? How much? Do you know her? She is. How? I, I don't follow. My character's uh, anxiety is spiking, I guess. And then it try to open Steam again. Every time it seems to do a loading screen, it does that. It's kind of annoying. So just the more things that stress the character out, we're just going to be seeing more stuffed. Dolls. Get on the road, Kebby! 
No, oh, damn, I can't go on the road. Invisible walls. All right, where's my thick wife? There you are. I'll leave the rest to you. When people gather, there's a lot of consciousness there for each individual. You know, that's what scares me. I wonder what everyone is thinking. I mean, this shouldn't be scary. Am I thinking about what everyone else is thinking? Well, that's why you communicate and figure out if the person agrees or disagrees or has thought of your perceptive before, or perception, or perspective, anything. Um, and I wonder. Yeah, that's where language comes in. I... 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 I, 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 I but it doesn't really... Why the head movement? Developer, if you explain it to me, please. Shy, mute, or otherwise. Who who does that head movement? I'm so confused. But it doesn't really matter, honestly. Not dogs, not dogs, not dogs. Just trying to say, like, the day repeats itself. It's the same thing over and over. You could just, like, point and be like, there. Just point. Instead of putting your face next to it. The girl from the other day, how's she doing? Do you just drifting to try to find the doll somewhere? I see. You also struggle with recognizing faces of people. I do too. I can't distinguish them without looking at their clothes. Is that the reason for everyone being templates except for the chef and your quote unquote wife or girlfriend? Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Could just be like furry characters, but their faces then blurred or, you know, shadowed. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But it's a little nice to know that the same person exists. Thank you for talking to me. See you later. And now we're taking a really big piss. Can we flush? Can we wash our hands because we work in a diner? Apparently not. Okay, we don't. We're not washing our hands. Okay. He hasn't come yet, huh? I wonder if something happened. Maybe he's someone who always stays at home. Let's go check. Oh, but how about we eat the fries first? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, you ordered foods. You might as well fucking eat it. Well, then let's stay here a little longer. Hee <laughs> hee. No, oh, okay. Um. Oh. Mmm. My thick wife. Good job. Next, it's my turn to go. Thanks again for today. Well, then you can take it easy from now on. Hmm. Oh, you're on the other side of the fence now. And then zoom to music and yes, yes. A bit cheery music. Maybe this person needs to invest in some, like, ear pods. Just maybe. Instead of playing their childhood, you know, boombox. I remember my childhood boombox because I'm old as hell, but... I don't know. It's, you, what happened to this being the modern world? But this person is, like, stresses out unless they play music in their head to get away from anxiety and things like that. But then it's... I know so many people that work in restaurants, they just, they, if they're dishwashers or chefs, they just have one earbud in their ear and, you know, it'll help them, you know, de-stress and shit like that. But this character needs to do it all in their head? It's, it's not normal. There's so many ways you could you know, help yourself with music, but, eh. I'm gonna assume something bad will happen. The music stopped, so... The mystery template character. Well, that's a really big plushie. What do you want? Am I gonna run from them? Oh no, it's a stranger. Stranger danger. Well, I mean... I'm too thick, I can't climb the fence. Save me! That blue-haired girl near you, she... That woman is a wanted murderer. In the previous state, she fed human flesh to customers. 
Come here quickly. Come here quickly? Uh-oh. My sick wife. Please tell me you just protected me. And great, you moved according to the plan. Plan? <laughs> um, thick wife? Oh, are you done? Well, let's just grab what's edible then. Oh, I mean, they're having a feast now, aren't they? Uh. <laughs> are, you, are you enjoying it? No, no barking. The cats are enjoying it. The dogs are bark uh, enjoying it. Both of them are exactly the same, but yeah, okay, they're they're enjoying it. So both employees are cannibals. That that's the spooky aspect. Wait, also, why am I getting in the trash in the morning? Hmm. Hmm, it's a little cheery, but it's one big trash can or a trash bag. Because that's totally not, um... <laughs> I, mean, it's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how you can make, uh, turn that hand into anything, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, well, back to smashing Thick Wife. Every day. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you horny bastards would be like, Oh man, well, if I had a thick girlfriend like that... Oh! You know, it's just... I lacked confidence. I can't remember faces well, and I sometimes see illusions. I wonder who the person chasing me is. You killed them already. I'm sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. You can relax. Take it slow, go at your own pace. I love you, I really love you. Hmm. What? That's it. What was the point? If it all just is, it's just half of the game is you boning your 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 thick girlfriend, and then it's just and there they're the duplicated characters. It makes no sense. They're their own unique individual. It's, but they're just they're just being plastered everywhere. Make unique models for everyone. I I I gotta say it's, it has to be laziness rather than, you know, plot mechanic purpose of them saying, oh, I I don't know faces. They're all illusions, and that's why they're two D templates. I don't buy it. Make all characters art. Don't be lazy. Make all the art. Or commission all the art. I don't know, man. But, anything else? Okay. Final thoughts while I turn this down. It's just... The whole thing is just, you work at a diner, and plot twist, they're cannibals. There wasn't much of a build-up to go to that. Like, there's no suspense. There's no questioning of people's, um, you know, people's... Uh, what's the word? There's no tension, there's no build-up of... in that direction. It just happens that there's a mysterious stalker and it's stressing you out. But it turns out the stalker was trying to warn you that the... But they ran... So they're trying to warn you, but they ran away from you? Just to falsely give you... The, the, to give you the false impression that they are bad people trying to stalk you. But they're actual intent was to try to warn you and protect you. Whoops. I, whoops, I hit the enter key. Uh, does it mean that we're just going to see my... Wait, wait. wait. I, uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, a person whose intent is to warn you would not go up to you, see you, know that you are near this blue-haired girl who is a threat and had traveled across the state, apparently, to even, like, stalk and find out where she went, or did research on them traveling out of state. And they see you three times, 
but they run away only to tell you at the very end, oh no, they are cannibals, careful. It's, it's not good writing. It doesn't make sense. The character's movement makes a little sense. It's fine if they're mute. I played fucking Half-Life. I know mute characters. I've played original Halo. It has a mute character. So don't no one go, Nico, you just don't understand mute people and their and their suffering. Sh shut the fuck up. I don't think anyone would, but just in case. It, it's just it's just a lot of odd decision making. I don't care about the typos or I don't care about localization. I don't care about translation errors. But it's just I think boning your thick girlfriend three times, what, how does that add to the story? Are you just horny for thick girls and it's just some kind of fetish insertion? I'm gonna believe it's that more than uh, anything else, but... So all my complaints is, if you're gonna make a story, please write it on a piece of paper. Write the story, storyboard it, make sure it makes sense, because the whole plot twist isn't fleshed out, no build-up, if you're going to add it into a horror genre, you're going to have to at least build the tension, not be like, haha, it's 90% cutesy, 5%, uh oh, something's happening, and then at the very end, something happens, and then it's, it's over. It, to me, it feels like a waste of time. I, I don't, I didn't learn anything. It was just, haha, we're cannibals, the end. Yeah, it could. Like, there's potential. There's potential in the themes, but just like that other game that had the, um, the game I haven't played, but it's the, the game where it's like the, the weird incestual game with a brother and sister who apparently are cannibals that I've heard about. It's something I'm going to be playing. I've already been spoiled about what happens, obviously, but I'm curious about it, and a lot of people are talking about it, and I see a lot of art about it. But, like, that game is clearly taken in a positive direction, and it's why it's so popular. This game won't be popular for the exact opposite reason, because it doesn't flesh things out like the game I just mentioned, and that game whose name I can't remember, but I'm sure you guys would know what I'm talking about. You know, incestual brother-sister shit, and cannibalism, and murder, and stabbing, and things like that. This game is, like, the same themes, but just... a, hor like a horny... horny... Girl-on-girl -girl action with your thick girlfriend and cannibalism. I, I don't know what else to really say. Let me know if you agree with me or if you disagree and it has some kind of deeper meaning that I just couldn't figure out. Let me know in the comments below. I'm just kind of really confused by all the decisions. And I don't know. If the, if the developer could, like, utilize the cute art and build up on the writing and make it so it's less jarring... And you take the camera, you stop taking the camera away from the player so much. There's so many other ways you could probably use the same themes or to illustrate anxiety, to illustrate the character's uh, mental struggles without it being so odd, is how I'd put it. Like, sure, you can just like spawn radios and plushies everywhere and the player themselves will notice, right? You don't have to like zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Like, are you an amateur filmmaker or something? What's with the whole zooming and shaky, shaky cam? What the fuck is the point of that? It's pointless. You're not holding a ca webcam. You're not like, eh, just I'm gonna, rant. I'm gonna rant too much. Let's end it here. <laughs> but if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, hit become a subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.